Sir James Robert Dixon, November 30, 1832 to January 10, 1901, was an Australian politician and businessman, the 13th Premier of Queensland and a member of the First Federal Ministry. Dixon was born on November 30, 1832 in Plymouth, Devon, England. He was the only son of Mary Maria, Nay Palmer, and James Dixon. He was educated in Scotland at the High School of Glasgow and subsequently worked as a junior clerk at the City of Glasgow Bank. Dixon arrived in Australia in 1854 during the Victorian Gold Rush. He initially worked for the Bank of Australasia and then for Ray, Dixon and Company, his cousin's merchant firm. He moved to the colony of Queensland in 1862, working for an estate agent for a period and then establishing himself as an auctioneer and land agent. He built two rack house, a villa overlooking the Brisbane River. Dixon was elected as a member of the Legislative Assembly of Queensland for inaugural in 1873. He was made Secretary for Public Works and Mines in 1876 under Arthur McAllister and was Treasurer 1876-79. In the absence of Sir Samuel Griffith he was briefly opposition leader and was Treasurer again 1883-87 after Griffith became Premier. He lost his seat in 1888 but was again elected for Bulimba in 1892, supporting the importation of laborers from the South Pacific to work on the Queensland Canefields. In the so called continuous ministry of the late 1890s, Dixon attained the positions of Secretary for Railways in 1897, Postmaster General and Home Secretary in 1898 99. In September 1898, after the death of Thomas Burns, he was made Premier. The continuous ministry by this stage was falling apart, and Dixon had only a brief period in office before Anderson Dawson gained the support of the Legislative Assembly to become the leader of the world's first Labour Party government. The ministerialists regrouped a week later to vote Dawson out of office. Dixon lacked support to become Premier again, and that position instead went to Robert Philp, in whose government Dixon was Chief Secretary. Dixon was a leading supporter of federation in Queensland and was mainly responsible for winning a yes vote in the Queensland referendum on the proposed Constitution of Australia in 1900. As a result, Dixon was appointed Minister for Defence in the First Federal Ministry under Edmund Barton on January 1, 1901. He was intending to stand for election to the First Federal Parliament, but on January 10 he died after being taken ill at the Commonwealth's inaugural ceremonies in Sydney on January 1. He was the first federal minister to die in office. He was accorded a state funeral. It proceeded from Turek, his residence at Hamilton, to the All Saints Anglican Church. After a short service, it moved on to the Nunda Cemetery. Only nine days before he died, Dixon was appointed a Knight Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George in the New Year's Honours List January 1, 1901, in recognition of services in connection with the Federation of Australian Colonies and the establishment of the Commonwealth of Australia. The Federal Electoral Division of Dixon in Queensland and the Canberra suburb of Dixon are named after him.